everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to another jewelry review and giveaway. So I was contacted by Leo Mazzotti Jewelry to do an unboxing and review of some of their bracelets. And as you guys know, I don't like to do reviews unless I have something in it. There's something in it for you guys. So I said, well, sure, I'll do a review, but how about doing a giveaway because that's the way I like to operate. So they were absolutely gracious about it and said, yes, of course, let's do a, a, a review and a giveaway. So they have sent me two bracelets to review and give away. So here's their logo or the their stamp. This is the packaging rather. Leo Mazzotti. So let's take a look first at their website. I wanted to show you um, their website, their story, and then I will unbox their the bracelets they sent and try them on and we'll talk about about them. So let's take a look at their website. It was really nice. Uh, I, I love the images on their website. So let's take a peek. So here's the website for Leo Mazzotti. And I just have to say that whoever does their website does an excellent job. I mean, it's very easy to navigate and yeah, the pictures are great. So their story is really interesting. They wanted to share uh, what it would be like to travel to different countries. And at the moment, they've got three different countries that they focus on. One is Australia, one is Italy, and one is the USA. So they've got sort of a theme for each of these. Um, some are, they all tend to be a bit nautical. So let's take a peek at the three different collections that focus in on the different stories. And then I'll let you know which ones were chosen for our review and giveaway. So this, these are the Italian ones, and they've got this sort of nautical, again, nautical look to them um, with the rope and then they're tied. Uh, so I don't know, their pictures are really nice. So those of us who sell jewelry could take some cues from some of the imagery here. Then this is, these are the American ones and they seem to have, I think they're lions on them or something like that. They're really cool. Um, and then the ones we are reviewing are the Australian waves, which are a rope, with an anchor, which is really cool because I have a thing for anchors. I don't know why, like compasses, anchors. No, I don't necessarily like to go out on the water, but <laughs> I like the, the symbolism of it, I suppose, the freedom. So these are the ones we are going to be reviewing. And again, they have free worldwide shipping. So take a peek and get to know Leo Mazzotti. So let's get to the unboxing and review. So this is the package in which the bracelets came. They said I should open it from the bottom and not break the seal, but that's what we're gonna do. All right, so you open the bottom and here are the two bracelets coming out. Okay, with the anchors, I'm gonna set them here because I see some cards in there. Let's see what we've got. So we have a Leo Mazzotti membership card and it says that I am an exclusive member of the fan Fantastic Leo Mazzotti family. The owner of this card embodies the chic and elegance of Leo Mazzotti. So there's that. And then a, a thank you. Thank you for the purchase and posting images on the social media networks. Okay. I, I gotta be honest, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with my membership card. So that might be something in the future that like, does it, do I get perks? Like, you know, like a discount? Or what is that? How does it, you know, or is it just like, I don't know. That's a bit, I, it's an honest review, right? So it's a bit, this part's a little confusing because I'm not exactly sure what it means. Like, you keep it in my wallet and, I don't know. <laughs> so there, there's that, but okay. So there's that. Okay, and the, th the thank you is very nice and just sort of a, you know, hashtag Leo Mazzotti for, for the bracelets. Okay, so let's take a peek at what we've got. And, oops, that's caught on this one. So we've got, let's take one at a time, how about this? Let's take a peek at this one. The gray and blue cord is, let's see, the name of this one is Melbourne. So this is the Melbourne bracelet and it's got this blue and gray cord with a silver tone anchor. They gave me the opportunity to choose uh, of the two, um, for the two ones from the Australia line. And I wanted to get one that had a silver anchor and then the other one has a gold tone anchor. So this is the silver tone anchor and it looks like the cord is one that, it has a, one of the knots that, I know there's a name for this, that you slide to adjust the length. 
and then it wraps around. So let's let's take a peek at that. So this is going to wrap around. Um, again, in all honesty, I, I kind of thought that the cord was going to be a little bigger, but maybe it's just the way my perception of it was in the image. So like I, in my perception, I thought it was going to be a little bigger, but it's okay. Maybe, you know, let me wrap it around and see how it looks. Here we go. So I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping, and then this hook hooks onto the anchor, which is kind of cool. I like that. So it's got this tied on look. I think I made it a little too tight. Let me adjust it a teensy bit. I'm going to have to loosen my rip cords or whatever they're called a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. So here it is with the anchor. I think I still have to play with it a bit, but I think, you know, I think they would look really good layered too with some other things. Um, hang on. Let me play with it a little bit more. I'm having a bit of a kerfuffle. Kerfuffle? Do people still say that? Apparently I do. So here we go. Okay. Well, maybe. So there we have it. I think I still need to play with it a bit because I don't know that I like the knot like right there in the front. And then you can't see, maybe have it on backwards. You can't see the front of the anchor. Let me see if I switch it around, if I can make it look a little better. I, I can see that it will look cute, but it takes some playing with. Maybe if I make one of these, this side tighter and this side looser, I won't have the knots kind of bunching up on me. And now let me try it. Yeah, I, I like that, but I can see, there we go. You have to, unless you don't care and you're not, not as picky as I am, I suppose. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, now my anchor's on the inside. Okay, I can just slide it around though. Hang on, let's slide it around. There we go. Okay, so now I've got it like so. Oh, that's kind of cute. I'm thinking, I'm going to insert a picture of some of the models that they have on their um, on their website because it looks super cute on them. And I think that maybe it's user error on my part <laughs> that I'm going to have to play with it, tighten it up and let me try tightening it up again. I'm not giving up. Here we go. Here it comes. There we go. And how's that? How's that? So, okay. See, they and they had asked me to do a video on how to tighten it up and stuff. And now that they see me messing with it, they may be like, whew, so glad she didn't make that video because I'm struggling apparently. I think I may be too concerned about having the knots on the other side. I think that might be part of my problem because I have really small wrists. So I think my concern about having the knots not show with the anchor needs to just go out the door because my wrists are really small. So at least I can say something on me small, right? <laughs> okay, let's wrap this around again and see how we do. Here I've got it wrapped around the knots are showing. Maybe it is cute with the knots. I think you just have to, I just have to change my perspective about it. It makes it look really nautical too with the knots, I think. Okay, I think that's just me. It's just me <laughs> needing to get over it. So yeah, there we go. I, and I think it's something you can play with to make it your own thing. So here it is. And that's the silver tone one. It's super cute. Okay, once I get it going and once I got it on and figured it out, it took a little playing with. But I could see also like layering it with some other bracelets. So this is the Melbourne. And then the other one that I got, which is almost more nautical, I think, with the red, the white, and the blue. It's, and so the Brisbane is going to be the one that I give away. It looks like this. It has the gold anchor. It's stamped Leo Mazzotti on it. You can get, there it is. Okay, like so. Yeah, I take back what I said in the beginning. I was like, yeah, it's not quite as thick. But because now that I'm looking at the images of it on somebody, it does look, it does look just like that. So I think it's more of like a casual style than some of the stuff that I normally do. So, but I like it. I can see that. I can see it. It's cute. Thank you so much to Leo Mazzotti for sending me one of their bracelets to review and one to give away. It was very gracious of them. Their website is beautiful. Check it out. I actually would, would be really interested in, in checking out some of the other themes. The I'm looking at it here, the American Dream ones that look like they're lion heads um, on a, looks like a, maybe a leather cord. And then some of the other, the Italian Dolce Vite um, bracelets that are a rope style as well to uh, 
to share because they're really cool. All right, so there's this one. And again, the Brisbane, which I feel like I should put it on, but I, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'll just put it on. You won't mind, right? If the giveaway winner, let's do this. Look, this one's going on so easy. Maybe I tried the wrong one on. This one's just like zip, zip, zip. Okay, let's get this on. Okay, <laughs> there it is. So this is the one with the gold anchor, the gold tone anchor on it. Super cute. Okay, very nice. Again, thank you so much, Leo Mazzotti. Uh, go and check out their website. All right, in order to be entered to win one of the bracelets, leave a comment down below letting me know what other country you wish that they would represent. Right now they have Italy, Australia, and the United States. If you could travel to a country and you could have a piece of jewelry to bring home with you, what country would it be? What country would I want to visit? Hmm. Let's see. I've never been to Scotland, so I kind of wonder what kind of jewelry would they would have to represent Scotland. That would be cool. All right, so leave me a comment down below and I will host the drawing. Let's see, today's Tuesday. So I'll host the drawing on Thursday. We'll give it a couple days and I will let you know who won the drawing. So again, thank you so much, Leo Mazzotti, for thinking of us over here at Texas Gal Treasures and sharing some of your lovely jewelry um, with us. Again, thanks so much, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.